Lee Gym, and I'm going to take Sam through the warm up for today's workout. So we're going to do a little bit of everything. It's going to be a full body warm up. Uh, it's going to be kind of circuit style. We're going to go around and do each exercise for about a minute. Uh, we're going to just get your muscles warmed up, uh, focus on some agility. You're going to use that a lot today for all the stuff you're on. So you ready? Yep. All right. Let's get to it. Excellent. So first exercise you're going to do, we're going to do the warm up on this big tire right here. So we're just going to do some lunges. Lunge in, switch legs, just alternate legs each time. Perfect. Go straight ahead. So. I'm going to be feeling this all the way through. And since I have to use everything, I'm going to have Frank, who's always here at Urban Body, to give you all the knowledge that you need, walk you through everything that I'm going to be doing. All right, so Danielle, we're having going for the launches, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, what is this working, Danielle? Uh, it's working her quads, her hamstrings, her core is getting engaged, which is really tight. So a little bit of our movement. Awesome. So we're going to keep her going for about a minute. We've got 30 seconds in right about now. Good. So let's remind her, inhale and exhale. Yep. So we're going to do this. Oh, perfect. Great to do the mouth. That's a reason to do the I want you to do both. Good, perfect. All right, you got about 10 more seconds. How are you feeling? Pretty good. Opening up those hip flexors. Good, that's what we want. All right, a couple more seconds. Three, two. One, perfect. All right, so next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna get some jumps on. So you're gonna jump two feet up on the tire, slowly step off, nice and controlled, right back up. All right, so same thing, sticking with this one for one minute. There you go, that's perfect. Now Danielle, plyometrics is a key component in your workout, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, absolutely, I love plyometrics. You know, it teaches people a lot of power, you know, agility, they need to work on balance. You know, it's going to help in little everyday activities, um, you know, especially if they do have tires in their backyard, it helps with those activities on a daily basis. Yeah, plyometrics, plyometrics help you strengthen your core. Um, it also helps you be a little bit faster. If you ever uh, feel groggy or, or tired and hard to get out of a chair or a couch, if you implement some plyometrics into your daily routine, you'll find those daily uh, tasks to be a little simpler. Absolutely. Yep. And, you know, in my opinion, they happen to be fun. They make the workouts not redundant and boring after a while. All right, Sam, we got 13 seconds. Excellent, Sam. Grab right up through the head. Push up. Good. Knees high. Almost right on the tire, gonna open up to one side, stretch that core, back down, open up to the other side. Okay. Alright, one minute. Let's start it right now. Open it, good. Danielle, yeah, push ups are always been one of my favorite uh, exercises. Push ups you can do anywhere. You don't even need a tire. If you're in a hotel room, on vacation, there's so many moves that you can do from the push up position. Oh, exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, and there's so many different variations. You can do one on an incline like this. You know, there's also the option if she would have her feet up on the tire, decline push-ups, work the pecs a little bit different. You know, all sorts of things. You can do tricep push-ups, you know, the triangle push-ups. You can never run out of ways to do it. No, not at all. Push-ups are not at all. You can get the triceps, you get the back, you get into the abdominals, chest. Core is nice and tight, alright? Alright, one minute starts now. Perfect. So we're back in the push-up position, Danielle, and we're doing mountain climbers, right? Mountain climbers, 
that's that's a, you're getting a metabolical workout. Oh right? yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So now we're really starting to raise the heart rate. Yeah, it's gonna get up. Her core is gonna stay engaged the whole time. This is just really gonna get her prepared for all the you know jumping around, high heart rate exercises she's about to go through. Excellent. We can also do mountain climbers in a normal push-up position even without the tire, right? Yeah, I know that exercise can do everywhere. Like I said, when it comes, so you're gonna get some small challenges. Good, Good job, job Sam. Sam. Nice nice All right, you got about 15 seconds to go. going to be wrapped around the outside facing forward. You can do it with your knees bent if you want a little uh, tougher exercise with this one. You can have them straight up on your heels. Just going to dip down, right back up. So you want your upper arms to be about parallel to the ground here. And press right back up. Okay. Same thing. you got one more minute and you're done with your warm up. So here I see that we hit the whole body for this one. Oh, absolutely. All her muscles should be warmed up and ready to go. None of them should be too weak starting off. You know, she's done a lot of weight bearing exercise, so it's not going to take her too long to be able to get to the harder things like the tires that have been the pro pools. Alright, you're about halfway through, Sam. Good job, Sam. So how do you feel about two trainers? <laughs> I feel like it's going to be quadruple the workout that it usually ends up being. Us are short one host, <laughs> so there's no one else to do this. All right, 10 seconds. You're almost there. Get a few more in. Three, two, one. There you go. Perfect. You feel warmed up? Oh, yeah. Alright, this is going to be a cakewalk. <laughs> Alright, awesome job. Alright. Perfect. So I'm going to have you change this for me. I'm going to set the tire up here and right. get it lined up for you, Danielle. Danielle, and then I would like you to explain what we're going to do next. Alright, so, so the next thing we're going to do, this is going to be a pretty major plyometrics exercise. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to be jumping from each tire into the next one. So we're actually going to be jumping into the center hole of each tire. So we're going to start in the back there. We're going to be just on the sidewalk. Hop two feet at once into the first tire. Hop out onto the ground. Right into the next one. This one. The third one's a little more of a challenge because it's higher. But this is going to be a really fun exercise. I think you're going to enjoy it. Yeah, absolutely. So Danielle is going to start off at the beginning tire. She's going to use her hips, driving forward, jumping through, up high, and completing the task. And then we're going to come around, and we're going to do that again in three circles. Okay, so three times around. All right, are you ready? All right, two feet at once. She used her arms to help lunge you forward. There you go. Right onto the sidewalk. Nice. Big, Big high jump. jump. There you go. Right, right up. Out. Good. Good. And right around. All right. Two, two more times. times. There you go. Good. Good. Power, Power through. through. Good. Good. Perfect. Perfect. One, One more. more. Awesome, Sam. How do you feel? I feel like that last one tricks you up a little bit right at the end. Yeah, yeah I noticed on the, on the first one you had to jump up, do a little stutter step, step almost. Look, my prints right there. Yeah, yeah. it's higher than it looks. Once, once you're jumping, jumping you realize that you're jumping the height. Yeah, exactly. Great, right. right. awesome. I hope you had fun. Oh, yeah. And uh, Frank's going to introduce us to the next exercise we're going to do, and I'll demonstrate it for you. All right, Danny, are you ready? We're going to jump up to the tire. We're going to do a plyometric jump, and we're going to jump right back down. We're going to do this 10 times over, and then we're going to take a 30-second break, and we're going to do it 10 more times. See how she's rolling right through it using her hips. Okay, are you ready? There we go, 10 times. 10 and break, 10 and break. Yep, 10 and break. There we go. Fix my little angel wings going on there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
One, good job. 30 second break. Excellent. Feels good. Definitely tightens up throughout the hamstrings back here and claws up top. Starting to engage those calves a little bit. You're saying you're getting warmed up ready for the circuit. What circuit? I thought this was the circuit. This is the warm up portion. We're almost done with the warm up. Okay, almost done with the warm up. Right, here we go, your next 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job, 30 second break. One thing to always keep in mind on jumping an exercise like this when you land, you want to make sure that you absorb your landing. You're not just stopping, you have to go down a little bit in more of a squat. It's going to make it a lot easier on your knees. All right, you ready, ready for your next? You got to keep you going because you want to start with this. Here we go. Oh, it's already up there. Here we go. 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job. Excellent. All right, let's take a minute break, two-minute break, and then we'll go right into the next. Okay, so when we're back, they're actually going to run me through the real workout. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. All right. Awesome.